Salt affected soils include both saline and sodic soils. Saline soils contain an excessive amount of soluble salts. The presence of soluble salt makes it difficult for plants to absorb water from the soil. Sodic soils carry high amounts of absorbed sodium ions that damage soil structure. Soils become hard and compact when dry and sticky when wet. Both saline and sodic conditions considerably reduce the agricultural productivity. Over 833 million hectares are salt-affected soils. The map currently covers 73% of the global land area. What are the drivers of salt-affected soils? There are natural and human-induced saline and sodic soils. In arid, semi-arid, and coastal environments, saline and sodic soils are naturally present. These soils are not degraded, but typical of these landscapes, where halophytic vegetation is present. The Unisalt Flat in Bolivia is an example of this type of landscape and soil. All the saline soils surrounding the lake are used to produce crops, particularly the quinoa real, which is a very nutritious crop. These soils also produce natural vegetation eaten by camelids. Human-induced salinization and sodification. The main drivers are unsustainable agricultural practices, irrigation with poor quality water, removal of deep-rooted vegetation resulting on raised water table, water pumping at the coastal plains, overuse of fertilizers. Because of climate change, soils at coastal areas are facing seawater intrusion, causing salinity and sodicity. What can we do? Conserve natural ecosystems prone to salinity and sodicity. Manage soils and water sustainably. Apply appropriate irrigation practices and adapted crops. Manage salt-affected soils in harmony with nature. Let's work together to halt soil salinization and boost soil productivity. <laughs>